welcome to the basics of learning of steels part 2 the hot rolling is been done the starting material is normally is thrust as a thrust structure which is coming from the continuous thrusting machine and this thrust structure is those and non unif and with a non uniform drains hot rolling converts this thrust structure into rod structure with finer drains and this finer drains gives it enhanced ductility ductility most rolling is carried out by hot rolling owing to the large amount of deformation needed hot roll steel is normally free of residual stresses and has isotropic properties it does not have closed dimensional tolerances and the surface has a characteristic upside steel fundamental concept of rolling the art of this contact between the rolls and the workpiece is a part of a circle the coefficient of friction mu is constant in theory but in reality the va it varies around the art of the contact the workpiece tensor to be deformed plus territory rolling the volume of workpiece is constant before and after rolling in practice the volume might decrease a little bit due to close up of the pores the volume remains same though the length increases and the cross section decreases during rolling the velocity of the rolls is assumed to be constant during rolling and the work piece is usually extend only in the rolling direction and no extension in the width of the material is assumed to, to take place and the cross sectional area of the normal to the rolling section is not distorted these are the some of the fundamental concepts in the rolling now in this figure one can see the work piece top roll is removed bottom this is bottom roll and this is the work piece which is in contact with the rolls this is work piece which is in contact with the rolls and there is a neutral point which is also called nose slip point before this nose slip point there is an entry zone and entry zone the speed of the work piece is normally lesser than the rolls and after neutral point the speed of the work force is Higher than the rolls. This is a roll gap and a jig zone and the no slip point. Here one can see this is torque being applied by the rolls, this is force applied by the rolls, this is a reaction force from the workpiece. This other feature show, shows no slip point and the frictional forces, the neutral point. This is the driving force of the rolls. This is a back pull. This is the movement of the workpiece. This is the front pull and movement of the workpiece. This is the two rolls which have been shown here. Here a tandem rolling is shown where the step is rolled in five continuous, task, continuous stands. The example is taken from the toll rolling mill and one can see the data deal and the payoff deal and the, the four high mill is there and you see the in the fourth stand and fifth stand the rolling is being performed. In case of flat rolling, due to lower forces, rolls may bend. The flexion of the roll takes place. The edge of the roll is tipped to be thicker at its center and at the then at the edges. This is crown of the product. And this is corrected by making the rolls larger diameter at the center, so that by tempering the roll surface. And the counter at the flexion, the roll can also be externally bent at their bearings. See the roll bending of the rolls. The because of this, the step has got higher width than the edges. And these are the crown rolls. 
the yadi tantev strip and this is tanvach strip. This is tanvach strip has been rolled. And if roll is timber, then the strip can be flattened. Roll when in flat mill rolls are drowned rolls with a timber to prevent drowning of the roll strip. Radius of the timber usually is 0.25 mm and timber is greater than at the roll edges and timber is also sometimes stimulated by bending the rolls with the applied moments. The roll is being bent, here the moments are applied. This is a timber product, this is a straight product, one can see. Roll arrangement in the flat mills can be here see the movement of your rolls is that takes place to give the better flatness of the product. The rolls can be in a better shape in a pipe shape than in the uh, barrel shape and the moment of the rows are applied to tape the so one side tapered crown roll as crown rolls sitar rolls and other type of rolls are there and this is a cross rolling it can also be applied to that tip better shape of the strip. Roll tap is where the reduction authors relative sliding to this right of the neutral point, no slip point. Material moves faster than the rows. To the left of the neutral points, no slip point. Material moves slower than the rows. Drop is the distance, difference between the initial and final strip thicknesses. D is T0, T1. As a friction to the starting thickness, Percent reduction is a percent R is D by T0 in, into 100%. Prisoner forces needed to move the workpiece must be overcome in treating rolling force and power requirements. Lower force, later force required to compress the workpiece perpendicular to the plane of the workpiece and reducing work roll force, reducing friction using smaller diameter rolls taking smaller reduction per pass, rolling at elevated temperature, applying tension to the workpiece. Tension, longitudinal force, back tension, force applied to the workpiece at the entry zone, applying a braking action to the rollers, wheel supplying the workpiece to the front tension. It forces applied to the workpiece at the exit zone, applied by increasing the rotational speed of the rollers they receiving the workpiece from the roll tap. To calculate the load force required to maintain separate separation between the two rows, the formula is given like this, where F is equal to 1.5 into Y average into Ln into Wn, where Y average is the average flow stress in the nth pass and the approximate tantal length in the nth pass and Wn is the width of the workpiece in the nth pass. The torque in the rolling is estimated by T is 0.5 into F into L, where T is the torque, F is the load force, and L is the constant length, center length, and power required to drive the two rolls separated by P is a 2 pi NFL, where P is the power in watt, N is the rolls rotation speed in RPM, F is the force, and L is the center length. Step with a more stair cross section causes its width to increase significantly during rolling, provided that the material is not constrained in the width direction. Width increases with a decrease of width to, to thickness ratio, decrease of width to thickness ratio, and increase of friction, decrease of ratio of roll radius to step thickness. Here one can see the layout of a heavy suction mill where this is a reading furnace 
रफिन मिल रिवर्सिन स्टाइन टेंडम मिल एंड टू इन बैग वन टन सी एंड फिनिशिंग एरिया हियर दिस है शेप रोलिंग है बार मिल बेहत ही रेट इन फर्नेस रफिन ड्रोप ऑफ स्टैंड इंटरमीडिएट ड्रोप ऑफ स्टैंड फिनिशिंग ड्रोप ऑफ स्टैंड टू इन बैड एंड फिनिशिंग एरिया दी शेप रोलिंग है बाय रॉड मिल इस रेट इन फर्नेस रफिन स्टैंड फिनिशिंग स्टैंड वायर ब्लॉक नोट फिश वायर ब्लॉक दैन हिट ट्रीटमेंट एरिया रूप टूल इन तनवेयर्स एंड ट्वाल हैंडल ट्वाल फॉर्मिंग इन ट्वाल हैंडल एरिया दिस ए पाइप मिल फॉर सिमलेस पाइप दिन स्टार्टिंग मटीरियल इज राउंड बिलेट इज दैन स्टार बिलेट ऑल्सो एंड दैन पियर्सर इलॉन्डेटर दैन प्लग मिल दैन ढीलर एंड दैन साइजर एंड दैन वेल्डिंग एंड हीटिंग फर्नेस दिस इज बट वेल्डिंग दिस इज वेल्टेड पाइप्स एंड दिस आर द various types of spiral pipes is been shown here this is this submerged or been used shape pipe or a different type of pipe mills are shown this this is a tube loading process where the this is one can see the mender for piercing and solid rod is been there and solid rods is been pierced by the mandrel in a shape that is from and from this that it pierces those inside the tube loading process shows the one is the pitch mandrel then is a floating mandrel and without a mandrel and loading without a mandrel and it is built up loading with a mandrel pair of shape rods and this is a pair of shape rods This is the process.